Hey, I'm Giso and welcome back to my S Plus professional walkthrough. We are now in chapter 10, which is arguably one of the worst chapters in the game because we're going to go through the ballroom with bugs, right? Bugs. And there's something I'm going to do. I'm going to save before the ballroom and after the ballroom because I want to try things out and well, things can sometimes get a little bit sketchy in that room and you can easily, very easily die. But here's a tip. Apparently, if you look down the whole time, you won't take damage. For, for, for some odd reason, they're going to not hit you. I mean, they are less likely to hit you. They can still hit you, but they will probably fail. So, yeah, you could do that. But I'm not going to do that because I hate those bugs and I want to kill every single one of them. So I'm going to save and make sure I kill them. But here's the thing. You could go the safe way and do that too if you have the ammo, but if you don't, look down and hope for the best. Don't try to make eye contact, they don't like it, you're going to die. But there's also another reason why I want to kill them. They sometimes drop sapphires, and sapphires is, is one step below the diamond, but it's also very valuable, and they also drop money, so we can make a shit ton of money if we play our cards right, it's going to make chapter 11 all the way to 16 a breeze so <laughs> yeah you don't want to i mean it's up to you what you want to do you have two options either you look down or you kill everything and hope for the best see right now i'm trying to just look at the ground and try to you know it's working i guess <laughs> i guess it worked so th there you have it you can just look down and try to knock piece them off by making eye contact and it's going to work out for you. But again, I don't want, I don't want, I want to kill those bastards for what they dealt to me the first time I came here. They bullied me. And here's the thing you may not know. Depending on the difficulty, you may have to deal with more bugs. I noticed that on professional and hardcore, there were way more bugs than in assisted or standard. So I played, my first playthrough was on standard. I was, I felt like it was, it was still kind of sketchy. But nothing prepared me for the professional difficulty. So, honestly, your best shot is to have a shotgun ready just in case, and also some, you know, some, uh, some flash grenades to stab them like that all together. Mmm, juicy! I love the sound they make when they die. Oh, mama! Oh, mama! So yeah, I'm going to kill every single one of them. Shotgun, I mean, magnum ammo is going to come in handy for Krauser, and yeah every single one of them <laughs> you missed bitch <laughs> oh yeah it may be considered wasting ammo and wasting time but honestly like i said this is a very chill run and we're going to make it under five hours and 30 minutes don't too worry but this is not a speed run we don't try to to beat any world record just yet we just trying to to make it to the end and show that you, you can do so without using any bonus weapon it is so doable and that's the reason why we took our time and in the beginning, in the early chapters, to set up the ending, that way we're going to have an easier time. And do keep in mind that upgrading your weapon is viable. It's different between wasting three shots on the boss instead of one, right? It's all about being efficient and it allows me now to just take my time and kill every single one of those bugs. This game has so much bugs. Anyway, I'm going to see you in a hot minute.
I gotta say, that was very satisfying. I enjoyed that a lot. It may be considered wasting ammo. Oh, yeah, in case you do walk past those guys and you do want to save on your way back, you shouldn't forget about them. Like I did. I generally forgot that I, I didn't deal with them earlier. So, yeah, kill them. <laughs> Get some more resources. And I think we got most of our resources back. So, it's not. it wasn't a waste. I mean, it kind of was. I mean, I mean, right now, it feels like it. But trust me, it's going to pay off. 100%. And again, I'm doing something quite questionable here. I'm saving twice in the same chapter. And the reason why is quite simple. I don't want to have to do that again. It is just time consuming. So I'm going to save because I think we, it, it went pretty well. We didn't die and we have tons of heals. So yeah, I'm going to save, but if you feel comfortable going through the this next room, which is also kind of kind of bad. I mean, depending on your resources, it can go fairly well or terribly. And right now I'm looking kind of hot because we're going to use a lot of heavy grenades and grenades. That's how you get, you have an easier time with the Garados because if you don't have, if you don't have um, grenades, you're going to have a very difficult time, a very difficult one. They're going to be very annoying and I don't know, they just, they just kind of suck. But this room, the ballroom, is it's way worse than the next one. So that's why I feel confident saving after this one rather than after the next one. Yeah, because, you know, it's just annoying. They're just so annoying. Those damn bugs. Those damn bugs, man. We don't like them at all. Anyway, um, what do you need here? You need shotgun. Not shotgun shells, but you do need some rifle ammo. There's going to be a lot of loot up ahead to make up for all this ammo we wasted. So don't you worry, it's going to be okay. Just have the, the heavy grenades on the shotgun for easy access. And shoot the guys first. I think you should shoot the guys first. Oh, I, I feel better whenever I don't use the scope for the bug because they're, they're so fast. That's one, that's two, and that's three. Now we want to go around, but sometimes I, th I feel like you should kill the next guy on your right because he can make, he can just be a pain in the ass. So I'm going to just wait for him to just like that. He wanted to say he didn't die with a headshot, which is questionable, but it's okay. So right now, grabbers. I mean, we don't want to deal with the grabber, but I, don't, I feel like we may have no choice. Maybe they're going to kill her, and I think they just did. We're going to shoot the bear. There's only one bear on hardcore and professional. Shoot the bear. And now it is game time. First, we're going to throw a flash grenade so that we don't get stabbed in the back by some randoms. And then we just keep throwing grenade after grenade after grenade. Hopefully, they're going to all die just like... Okay, wait, wait, wait a second. Just like that. Wait. Turn your back. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This is. Uh, it could have been an eastern kill if I didn't miss my shot there. But you know, that's me. I always fumble. <laughs> oh, oh my god. See, I hit the grabber. I mean, he wasn't even grabbing, but he, he launched from 10 miles away and still got me. What am I supposed to do? Pray for the best? What is this? You missed. Anyway, all we have to do now is land one shot on the garret only one shot but those all the randoms are making it hard to isolate him but all we need all we need is a single shot i think that's it we need to go around and that's gg one oh my god see the randoms man the randoms it's just so annoying they are so annoying it would have been gg if i didn't get hit by a random hatchet just like that see one shot and I also fumbled before but let's not talk about it can you just stay still oh my god oh my god <laughs> oh he okay 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 you know what you know what this is on me 100 i'm a bad shot 100 also i'm using a controller so that's my excuse <laughs> that's my excuse it could have been better if i was using a keyboard and mouse but i'm not so shut up <laughs> So, see, see, I told you, this room is not as bad 
as the bar room. Especially if you have heavy grenades, it's going to be so much easier. Heavy grenades and rifle ammo. The long grenades, the... See, if I got that grenade earlier, it would have, I would have been able to kill both of them without even wasting a single shot. It's all about preparation, and because we're able to get to save those heavy grenades, we can now loot this place and make up for all the resources we wasted in the previous one. And I'm also looking for those, the mines. They're going to come in handy for the fight against Salazar. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy about the run because it's the chapter is almost over. I say almost because we still have to deal with uh, some more bugs. Who doesn't like bugs? Raise your hand if you like bugs. But hey, I think the hardest part is behind us because all we have to do now is deal with the, the bugs and the vertigo. The vertigo is pretty much you... You can try to kill him. I don't I don't recommend it because he is very tanky on this difficulty. Even while you, even while you freeze him. So I highly recommend just... Uh, there is that one room you can... I don't know if you if you if you play Dead by Daylight, but it's all about looping the killer for <laughs> I mean five minutes. You just run around in circle, trying to break out of sight, and that's it. And I think people refer to this area as the as the water room. Well, because obviously there's a lot of water, but also because this is here that you're going to deal the with the bugs, and they can be annoying if you don't have shotgun shells. Because here's the thing. They do not like being shot in the face by a shotgun. And we have plenty of ammo. I think you have four bugs, so all you need is four shells. Just four shells. And don't worry, because every single uh, resource or uh, ammo you wasted in the previous area, you can get it in the fight, I mean, the encounter against the Vertigo. So it's a win-win situation. You should do your best to not get hit here, because the Vertigo can be tricky even if you can loop him. So yeah, have your shotgun ready and just be look, just be on the lookout for those green lights. You see lights? You should. Oh my god, that was a pretty solid parry, if I do say so myself. That was pretty good. I was caught off, off guard, but... See, light, you see green lights? You should. Easy. That's all you have to do, basically. They're really easy to handle, but quite hard to spot. And here's my advice again. Have your shotgun ready. One shell per face. That's all you have to keep in mind. One shell per face. You can take it easy because you can. They can deal a lot of damage. That's the thing. They can deal a shit ton of damage, and you don't want to risk it if you don't have to. Have your shotgun ready. You see lights. You shoot. Oh, he's coming. And we both missed. So let's call this a draw. We both missed. I think if he, if he actually got, went for me, he would have been dead and he knew it, but he's going to be dead now. Just like this. Two more to go. This is how you deal with it. This is how you deal with them. And if you don't have the ammo, well, I do pray for you because uh, you're going to have a hard time. Weird. I really thought that hit him, but you know what? It's fine. I think we only have one more to deal with, and that's it. It is nothing compared to the ballroom. Nothing, not even close. So easy. And just like that, we made it. Just like that. That was flawless. I mean, almost flawless. You want to grab a crown here? This is very valuable. We can sell for as high as 100,000 pesetas, which is crazy absolutely crazy grab the yellow herb and the chapter is almost over we just need to deal with the vertigo now and that's it but the hardest part is behind us the hardest part being the ballroom is behind us and we're going to get some some more shotgun shells and ammo and resources and uh, like don't forget that even though you don't have to defeat the vertigo you still have so many items to collect and they're going to be very handy in the fight. Don't take it Salazar, because I already have a strat which involves not wasting ammo against Salazar, but it's mostly about the clock the clock tower. Oh yeah, you need resources for that one because if you don't you're going to It's going to be a pain in the ass. Because it's just grabbers, shield guys. It's just wait, wait it's, it's just 
it's just annoying. Don't forget to not save, but repair your knife and your your body armor. Also grab the yellow herb, why not? I just don't know what to, to get because I have so many spinels and... Well... Mm. We're looking good. Repair the knife, we got repair the body armor and... Why not just increase the durability and... I don't even know what to get right now. But I, I have the money, that's good. I have the money, we can craft some more uh, yellow... Yellow, red, green herbs. We're looking, I gotta say, we're looking good. I don't want to jinx it. I'm afraid of about jinxing it, but we're looking good. Especially because the next room is just about surviving and running. So I'm going to just give me give you some pointers when it comes to the room you want to go in and what you want to do to make the encounter easy on yourself. <laughs> Okay, from now on, he's going to randomly try to attack you and all you have to do is just press circle or whatever button you use to escape and that's it. He's going to do it twice, then you get the, the power on. Don't forget to loot the place before you do so, because then it's all about running for your life. So, shotgun shells, good, 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 good. Green herb, and... Um, that uh, I think maybe I was thinking about using this, but just to be, you know, you never, you can never be too cautious. Right now we're looking fine, but your run can end just as fast. So don't don't try to be fancy if you if you are halfway there when it comes to health. You you better off just healing, just to be safe. So we're going to use this lever to freeze him. Uh, okay, nice. And when he's like that, just kick him and go open the door. He's going to leave the area. Whenever you kick him once, he's going to leave the area and trying to uh, get you with his tail. I'm going to show you the room where you want to loot him. I mean, where you want to loop him. It's the best one. All you have to do is make sure you loot the place while running. There's a big um, structure in the middle which is going to prevent him from directly hitting you. But he can still jump, he can still jump all the way around, which is bad because, well, he can encounter with you and hit you. So we don't, know what, we don't want that to happen, so that was the wrong turn. That's not the, that's not, we don't want to come here, but that's okay. It's the next one here, the second on your right. So, loop the place and this, you see this big thing in the middle? That's what you want to loop. Just keep running around and don't be like me, don't just stand still trying to collect. You have plenty of time to collect every single thing in this room so again just keep running in circles you're going to jump jump away sometimes and th this is what you need to be worried about uh worried about because when he does that he can you know um oh my god so many as you can see so we have so many um uh so much ammo right now it's all it's all guns and ammo and knives i guess so that's really really good and all you have to do now is buy your time Run around, break light of sight, and you got this. You may get hit occasionally because he can still use his tail attack. Which has, he has a long range, so I'm going to skip ahead and I'm going to put some music so that you don't get bored and don't get hit.
just like that, you survived the vertigo with us minimal casualties. We still got hit a couple of times because I was. I failed to break line of sight. He can still get you, and I'm still trying to. You can also activate this to give you some time. He's going to be frozen, which is good. And yeah, you can. You could also try to kill him, but again, if you don't, I don't feel like you have to, unless you're running out of time. I think by now you should be at two hours, around the right before three hours. If you wait past three hours here, maybe you should consider. Um, consider uh, using more skips, but I don't think you have to. It went fairly well. It went fairly well. And yeah, we got hit 11 times, but we didn't die. And we killed every single one of those bugs. Ooh, I enjoyed it. And I hope that you also decide to go the punish away and punish them for all those runs they ended for us and brothers and sisters. I'm Jisoo, and it's been a pleasure. I'll see you around. Have a nice deal night. Peace.